Alright, so part three of my crazy self-defense story. My bad for the delay, man. I was supposed to drop this yesterday. I was supposed to record it yesterday and drop it yesterday, but, you know, some life-changing events happened. And not my life, but one of my closest partners, you know what I'm saying? Life been changed forever as of yesterday, so that kind of that kind of knocked me off, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday kind of threw me off a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop a story about it on the cool, you know? It's about toxic relationships and, 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 and knowing when to leave them, you know what I'm talking about? But anyways, back to the story. I'm going to go off topic a little bit to say that, well, it's off topic, but on topic. But as my brother was beating the living daylights out of gentleman number two, he dropped a couple items that he had brought with himself. So first of all, the, the tin that he came to, you know, get the tape with, my brother took that from him. So, you know, you came in there to rob and end up getting robbed for your tin. And that was just funny to me. That was just like side, side, side comedy for me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, he dropped a couple of items as he was taking his uh, uh, Texas touch up. He dropped a stun gun and some duct tape. What you got that for? Oh, you thought you was finna come in here and tape us up and zap us into telling you? Nah, homeboy, that is not in my script. That ain't in my script, bro. I'm not going through that. He not going through that. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well have came in here firing off, but at the same time, I'm, I'm say John Wick, so I would have spin move. I ain't saying I wouldn't have got hit, but spin move, yeah, we going out. What's that word? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he had a stun gun and a and a and, 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 and duct tape. That that's not in my story, bro. That ain't in my script. That nah. I ain't one of those. I'm one of those. I ain't one of those though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you in the wrong house with that. But it basically boils back to what I was saying about my brother and taking people pistols. You know what I'm saying? The fact that, you know, it's a numbers game. You know, you, you do this so many times, eventually, either you're going to miss, because, like, somebody drew down on my brother back in the day. He, Jake the Snake Roberts, quick. He going to yank you up. He got he got your tool. He probably pop you across the head with a few times, just, you know, embarrass you. You know what I'm saying? But you playing numbers, so eventually either you're going to miss or somebody going to be quicker than you, and that's going to be the end. You know what I'm saying? Same thing I told, uh, J Main about little trigger like he missed to take your pipe like uh, one of them times ain't gonna go like that and then what happened he end up you know what I'm saying meeting his demise R.I.P. little trigger you know what I'm saying but they was running around the city hitting licks they say they had done had hit you know seven eight nine other licks you know what I'm saying and you played your numbers and then you ran into that wall I was that wall you know what I'm saying shorty that initially came in. I guess she was a fake setup chick or whatever, but you, you wasn't doing your job because you should have, you know, sent a message downstairs like, hey, bro dangerous, he ain't putting that thing down. So, yeah, I can't get him off his guard. We need to try something else. You know what I'm saying? That that would have been a smart thing to do, but that ain't what she did. She she let him come in there and crash out, but that's neither here nor there. But when the when it got loud and, uh, you know, she, she got scarce. So I ain't even see her no more. You know what I'm saying? Now... Skull sticking up hair on it. I done made the 911 call. Now I'm walking in and out the house. Matter of fact, I take my whole trash bag that I said I was in CSI mode with. See, I know Malik came standing downstairs smoking a cigarette now because I've already walked out there. So I walk out there with my whole trash bag and just throw it downstairs. Malik, y'all take this in the house. Him and his cousin Vicious come out like some roaches or something. Just <laughs> trash went everywhere when I threw it down there. <laughs> Them boys came out on cleanup crew mode. <laughs> spotless down there you know what i'm saying by this time my little partner i sent to the store he coming back up the stairs really and truly i think he heard the fireworks and kind of lay, lay low you know what i'm saying to try to see what was going on then he come upstairs but that, that i expect that out of him because like he be in the spot with me but like yeah he answered the door and yeah he might he might look dangerous, but that's not what that's for. It's really just for show. He already under strict instructions. If something go down, if somebody push that door or somebody just hit the flow, I'm going to tear everything up over there. Them the strict instructions, bro, hit the flow. Don't do nothing, just hit the flow. Because I know that in reality, he ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he done seen some stuff. He done been around some stuff, but... When it come to fireworks sounds, you know, uh, uh, fire Fourth of July smell, and you know, that nickel smell, cause you know when 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 they leak, it smell like nickel. You know what I'm saying? If, I don't know if y'all know that, but when they leak, you can smell like metal. You know that 
that red stuff that come out of him smell like metal. He ain't that ain't that ain't his cup of tea. So he coming back up the stairs and I stop him. I'm like, bro, here, take all my jewelry. I take off all my jewelry and I give it to him. I'm like, bro, go down them go downstairs in Malik them house and do not come back outside tonight. Don't come back outside. Do not come back outside. He's steady walking up the stairs trying to go see. And I'm like, bro, don't go in that house. Don't cause I don't want him to see that. But he walk in there anyway. Eyes get big. Oh shit. And he disappeared. Man, they say my guy was down there in Malik and them house scared under the cover, just like, and it resonated with him for a while, cause like, even his auntie, like, she said like he started talking in his sleep after that, and he was saying like some crazy stuff, and she said he was sleeping there, and uh, all she hear coming out of there is, take your shirt off, bitch ass nigga, I'm finna kill you, and we laughed at that, cause like, why you gotta take your shirt off for you? Kill? It was funny, you know what I'm saying? But we kind of laughed at it, but at the same time, it stuck with him. That's why I didn't want him to go up there. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, I didn't talk my noise. I didn't said all the worst things I could say to this man on the ground, just cause I'm I'm angry. I'm angry. My adrenaline rushing, and I just want to be hateful. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying all the work. I have no feelings for this man. I don't have no feelings for his family. I don't have no feelings for if he got killed. I don't have no feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's just dry. So I want to be hateful. So I done said all my stuff and all that. And now the ambulance walk in. The ambulance get there first. I BS you not, bro. When it's a situation like that, they don't care. Bro, they walk in. Like, bro ain't saying nothing. Bro stuck to the flow. First of all, they kind of lift him up with their foot. Where you hit at? Just like talking to him, like, <laughs> I'm talking about it was disrespectful. Right? Like, they didn't care at all, bro. And then the, the laws walk in. And the best thing that they did for me was me and my brother sitting right next to each other. And they say, all right, what happened? Like, really, they supposed to separate and get, you know, separate stories, but they asked me what happened right in front of my brother. So I'm like, oh man, he knocked on the door, asked could he use the phone. I said, no, he pushed the door. I took off running. I ran to the kitchen. I grabbed my, my, my G19 out the cabinet and I turned around and I go to hidden. The way everything is set up, you can't tell me that's not what happened. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't tell me that. You know what I'm saying? So that made it good because now, <laughs> you feel me? So that made it great. And uh, now they asking like, whose strap is what? And I'm trying to, you know, match all the straps up. And I'm like, that's mine right there. They like, that. that's the one, which, which one did you hit him with? I'm like that G19 right there with that long thing sticking out the bottom of it. He said, you know, they looking for bro. They looking for like they was like, well, what, 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 which one did he have? And I'm like, bro, I don't even know, cause like it's too much adrenaline, everything moving so fast. You know what I'm saying? I knew he had that that Mac, but I don't remember what happened to him, what happened to it. And now you know the ambulance, the rolled him over, and he laying on top of it. They like, whoa, you might want to get that. And they like, oh, and they get it off of him. So now, you know, they, they end up cuffing us, putting us in the car until the lead detective show up. Bro, the news people out there and all kind of stuff, fam, and, and the lead detective show up and she like, why are they in handcuffs? They the victims. Get them out of them back seats. Get them out of them handcuffs. What's wrong with y'all? She charged everybody up. You know what I'm saying? So now we getting treated like victims instead of, you know, suspects. You feel me? So now we got to take this long ride down here to the homicide place. You know what I'm saying? And... They put me in the little room. I didn't get no covers, no drinks, no blankets like they be doing on TV. I ain't get none of that. They ain't give me none of that. I'm cold in here. I'm in some shorts and a wife beater, and it's freezing cold in here. And I see like a regular like outlet looking thing on the wall with a little bitty circle in it. Hmm. I bet that's a camera. That's what my mind said. I'm telling you, I be, out, I'm telling you, I be, I be ahead of, I be ahead of the game. I, or at least I try to. So I, I used to try to stay ahead of the game. You feel me? My phone going crazy. People waking up seeing the front of my apartment on the news. Like, bro, ain't that bro spot? Like, my phone going crazy. They done took it and then bring it back like I'm stupid.